All right, we're gonna level the bot here. And what I'm gonna do is, I use glass plate. So, I put a glass plate on here. It's nine by six inches, an eight, eighth of an inch thick, about 3.1 millimeters thick. I get it lined up, and I use, I'll get into all this garbage here in a second, but I use these clips. And I clip them on. Some people use silicone pads. I'm not there yet, I just use clips. Clip them. And now what we're gonna do is if you use this glass plate, you're gonna definitely need that little green guy there, which that green guy is gonna stop the Z-axis from going up too far and, cra and cracking the nozzles in here. So you do not want your nozzles to hit the uh, either the glass or your your build plate so be sure that you don't do that so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go on the menu here we're gonna go to utilities go down to level build plate and this thing's gonna the nozzles are gonna come to the center now this thing's probably already level but I'm just gonna show you how I level real quick Okay, so there we go. Now, what I do is I take scissors and I just cut uh, a post-it note. So I'll do that right here. There you go. And I'm going to move these things to the corners. Back left. And I'm just trying to get a little bit of tug, which I'm not getting there. So, I'm going to take and I'm going to screw these, unscrew this, relieve some tension, move the plate up higher. That's too much. Tighten it. That's pretty, you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. That may be just about right. Go to the other side. I'm just moving them. Because they're unlocked now. Too loose. We're not loose enough, actually. It's a little tight. There's going to be hairspray on there, too, so I don't want it too tight. That's good. Going to come to the front. That's pretty good there. That's pretty good there. So I'm happy with all this. Let me just check the back left again one more time. Yep, I'm happy with those. So, I don't do the center anymore. I used to, but that's a little bit tighter. It's probably, I think the glass bends just a hair, just a touch. But uh, So we're level. So we're going to hit M. Now I'm going to get into loading the filament. Uh, I'm going to, I had some in here, so I'm going to get that through there. Now let's just do that right now here. So we're going to go on here. We're going to go to utilities, filament loading. I'm going to unload or load the right. Even though I got some in there, I'm going to load the right because it's going to heat up. And then when it heats up, it's automatically going to push this through. And then I'm going to take the filament here. And I'm just going to follow it in there. That's how, how I load it. Some people will, on PLA, some people will do the what I just did, which is load or uh, unload the right. Or you want to load the right just a little bit to prime it and then unload it. So I don't do that, it's too messed up. So this is gonna take a while, I'll come back and we'll load that up. All right, this thing, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. There you go. It's heating and it's about the temperature and the filament's gonna come through. Here we go. You can see the filament's going through there. It's dropping down. Probably can't see that. but. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to follow that filament down. Pushing that filament in there just slowly. You'll feel the teeth grabbing it. And I just let it go until there's continuous good flow. And we're going to do the same for the other one. Alright, so I've got both extruders loaded. And I'm just going to show you a little hairspray on here real quick. So I'm going to use the Aquanet. 
And we're going to do just two coats real quick, nothing fancy. There's one. I'll wait a little bit, you know, maybe five, ten minutes, put another coat on there, and then we'll get back to printing the calibration uh, print. All right, if you remember, I took the G code for the calibration script and turned it into X3G with replicator G by slicing it. And I had to change the file name, it was too big. So I just, it's, it's FF, Flash Forge. I'm going to go print from SD. There it is. I've got my glass build plate on there. I put that clip over there because if I remember, this calibration uh, prints lines really close to the left and it would crash into it. So. Um, that's another reason. Oh, that didn't sound good. Whew, that sounded vicious. Not sure why. No, I've got my. There we go. That's why. All right. So I didn't install the uh, tubes, so I probably should do that, but I don't know. Anyway, I've got a bigger glass plate here, which I may install later, but you can see it's the same length, but it's quite a big, thick. It's a couple, an inch thicker, so you can install that so the nozzles don't run into the clips. So I'll come back when it's going. All right, so we're almost at temperature, and I'm using PLA, and I use my PLA around 195. So these things have heated up a lot more than that, and the platform doesn't need to be 110. I forgot how to I forgot to set that. It's kind of complicated to set that down to 50 Celsius on Replicator G, but it can be done. It's got to change the G code. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let this thing run, <clears throat> but uh, use ABS for this if you're new. Just use your ABS spool in the, uh, in the right nozzle at your default. So we should be kicking off here pretty soon. Both of them are loaded. Here we go. Let's see what's... Yeah, it was pretty hot, so it's kind of struggling there. There we go. You can't see it, so I'll show you when it's done. Okay, now you should have something that looks like this. And this is the calibration print, and it came out perfect. One thing I had to do was I had to go back and reset my tool head offsets to zero, because that's what you, as a, a new owner, should have. I had put those in there before, and somehow they stayed. So, what you do is these are the, uh, these are the X, and those are the Y. That long one there is the first one, and that long one there is the first one as well. So, if you look straight down there, it's one, two, though they're very close to being correct, but they're not. And mine is one, two, three, four, five, six, one is just dead on. And you'll be able to tell if you look really carefully. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, yeah, six is dead on. So six on the X, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 is perfect. So it's 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 10 and 6. So I'm going to put those in here. So we're going to go to uh, Utilities. Let's see if you can see that. Come on. Calibrate nozzles, X axis line. What did I say? Six. And then Y. Whoop. It's ten. And I would assume you guys are probably close to that. Well, Y is ten. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to shut this thing down. I don't know if it needs to. Restart it. Just make sure those values are the same. And then we'll print uh, a leveling script.